Oh, oh boy. Hi guys. I got new phone. Uh, yep, it's a new phone. Ooh, we. It's new. But wait. Should I start using this phone now before charging it? Or should I charge it first before using it? Hmm. Have you ever thought about that question? Have you ever wondered when you buy a new phone for the first time, you've not used it yet? Uh, do you want to know if you should use it first, you know, run it all the way down before charging it? Or should you charge it all the way up to 100 before using it? Well, I'm going to answer that in this video and more questions. Let's go. If you were like me once upon a time, you bought a new phone, right? And you're wondering, should I charge it all the way up before you know putting any files inside installing my apps and all that or should i just start using it and then run it all the way down before charging well there are two camps to this argument the camp that'll tell you well charge it all the way up before using and the camp that'll tell you run it down now both sides are wrong by the way and i'm going to try and address both arguments as to why both are wrong so we're going to start with the camp that says run it down usually you get this advice from well older folk who tell you that you should run a battery down first before you know trying to charge it all the way back up this idea is actually old and archaic it came from the old times when we use a type of battery known as nickel cadmium batteries now those batteries suffered from what was called memory effect in essence what memory effect meant was that if you charge the battery up to 100 for example or you bought a new phone with a nickel cadmium battery a new camera with a nickel cadmium battery and you did not allow the battery drain all the way down to zero it's going to remember where you charged it from and make that as its new zero point let me explain now first off let's assume you had a nickel cadmium battery that was at 100 from 100 it went to 80 70 60 55 50 40 30 and you're like oh my god my battery is low it's at 30 percent i should probably charge it up you know to 100 and you charge it at 30 percent whenever that battery is going to get you know when you charge it all the way up and then the battery gets low you know 80 70 60 50 40 30 when it gets to 30 obviously there's still 20 10 and 0 left it's going to stop at 30 percent and shut down why because it's called memory effect the battery remembers that you charged it at 30 percent so it assumes that that is its new zero so what it does is that when it gets to 30 percent it will shut down it's kind of messed up isn't it and it's a slippery slope from there on if it's okay if you then decide that okay fine i want to charge it at 40 50 your new zero becomes 40 or 50 and in essence you end up with having only half of your battery for you to use the other half being you know locked away forgotten by the memory effect on the battery so that's why most people will tell you from the older generation or people who are older will tell you run the battery all the way down to zero before charging it yeah we don't use nickel cadmium batteries anymore we use lithium ion batteries and lithium ion batteries do not suffer from memory effect so no you do not have to run your battery all the way down to zero before charging it now let's go to the other camp the second camp will tell you make sure you charge it all the way up to 100 before using you know this battery now why do people say that well in the early days of lithium ion batteries especially when we still use removable batteries you know those batteries from phones that you could remove or like now where we have no more access to our batteries in those days usually when you bought a new phone or you bought a new battery from a shop somewhere and you put it into your phone usually you had to charge it all the way up because well those batteries were of questionable origins and if you run it down lithium ion batteries do not like to be run down you basically just you know like you've you've messed with the battery the battery is never going to give you its full capacity or its full potential so in order to avoid uh that problem of you know getting a new battery and not having charging it you run it down and then the capacity gets messed up you are always advised to charge a new battery until it is full before using it but 
nowadays lithium-ion batteries are so much better now because especially if you're getting one from a very good source guaranteed quality and all that because lithium-ion batteries now no longer have to worry about memory effect that the old nickel cadmium battery suffered or dodgy capacity if you don't charge it all up to a certain position so the correct answer to the question should i charge my battery up to 100 before using it or should i run it down is none of the above you're free to do whatever you like yes it's not the answer some of you were expecting i'm sorry i'm sorry but in truth you can use your battery straight out of the box and you can choose to charge it it depends on you lithium ion batteries are so much more better the only thing i would say when it comes to charging lithium ion batteries is this i don't know i should probably make a much more lengthier video on how to charge your phone but take away these pointers you should keep your phone battery whether it's new whether you've had it for a year now it doesn't really matter but you should try and keep your lithium ion or lithium polymer battery on your phone between 20 percent and 80 percent you got that between 20 percent and 80 percent meaning you should not let your battery go below 20 percent and you should not let it go more than 80 percent because well lithium ion batteries do not like to have all the electrons moved or pushed to one side i'm going to explain this or why you should keep your battery above 20 and why you should keep it above 80 it should probably be in the next video or the one after the next one but just take that away you can choose to charge it all the way up you can choose to run it down but it should never be below 20 percent or should not be above 80 percent so that's it that's my two pence i'm going off to enjoy my new phone now cheers